Hi friends, I'm back to do one more video that I want to do today. And this, this will probably be my last video for the day. And it's another comparing Bible verses. Um, I'm going to compare the, the, the verse that goes, that, um, that they, they, they used for this, for the, um, for the, um, verse that goes along with the devotional in this one, and this is entitled, Celebrate, Word of the Year, and beside it, it has in parentheses, um, RSB, which, if, for those of you that don't know, it's called the uh, Revised Standard Version. Now, I know this because I wasn't sure what RSV stood for. And um, <clears throat> um, as far as Bible verses goes, so I went on the internet this morning when I was doing my own individual study, and I um, saw what it stood for. It was the Revised Standard Version. And from what I gathered, um, it has been around since 1952 and is still used today. So I wanted to compare that with the NIV, which I have over here. Before I do, I thought, before I do the verse comparison, I thought I would read, read a devotion to you. Or actually, I'm going to read the, the verse to you, and then I'm going to read the devotion. And then we're going to compare the, this, this verse to the to the NIV verse, okay? So here's what it says. It said it's like I said, this is titled Celebrate. These things I have spoken to you that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be that verse is John 15, verse 11. And it's, and they have it titled in parentheses. The, um, for short, again, it's RSV. And for, for those that you, that you might not, that might not know, it's the revised standard version. And if you want to know for sure, you can go look that up, because I did. And I wanted to because I thought, what does RSV mean as far as Bible verse? Okay, so that was the verse that goes along with it. And here's what it says. Again, again it's called, it's titled, Celebrate, Word of the Year. Many many people mark the mark the new year not with a resolution but with a word intended to shape the days ahead. I'm doing that this year, and my word is celebrate with two exclamation points. Celebrate got woven into my spiritual life when I read Richard J. Foster's classic book, Celebration of Discipline. I was intrigued by the title that combined those two unlikely words. According to Foster's Discipline, means 
doing what needs to be done when it needs to be done. And celebration is about recognizing God's goodness and pushing along in pushing long enough to thank him. The discipline turns the thank you into a habit that strengthens our faith. As I stand on the edge of this new year, looking at my new 2024 calendar, I'm reminded of blessing the blank pages of my new calendar. Un, uh, of my new calendar. Years ago, I recently been diagnosed with cancer and faced a future of unknowns. My pastor stopped by to see how I was doing as I was adding the dates of my first rounds of chemotherapy, I confessed my fears about the outcomes of doctor's appointments and treatments. You have to pray for the possibilities, he said, and then he and then led me through a prayer blessing those blank pages, trusting God's presence and protection, and ending by praying that I could focus on the possibilities. I am celebrating that memory today as I bless the blank pages of my 2024 calendar, especially praying for the possibilities. And this little saying, Father, I am excited to discover the possibilities you have for me in this new year. Now I can't pronounce this gal's last name, so I may have to spell it. It's Carol A-U-Y. A E N D A L. Kindle. Kiwi Kindle. Kiwi Kindle. Kiwi Kindle. I don't know. I'll spell that last name again and you can tell me in the comments. K U Y K E N D A L L. So that was the verse and the devotional to go with it from this book here and now and it's a digging deeper if you want to dig deeper says it has digging deeper here if you want to dig deeper go to second samuel 6 chapter 14 and psalm 16 chapter 11. now now we're going to do the second part of this video, which is comparing John 15 verse 11. So as I, as I, re as I read, um, the revised standard version says, okay, and I'm going to read it again. It says in this, in this devotional, it says things I have spoken to. Or there, okay, these things I have spoken to you that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be full. Okay, now that being said, let's compare John 15, chapter 11, the revised standard version. To an IV version. Okay, so if you have a different Bible besides an NIV, such as the King James, the New King James, 
uh, the New Living Translation, or any other, the ES, the ESB translation, or any other translations that I might not have, go, go compare them yourself. Even if maybe it, maybe you don't have a Bible, go look them up on the internet and see if you can't compare them. Okay, so we want John 15. So this, as I said, this is the NIV. Okay, the verse from the the verse that I read you was from the they had in parentheses was from the <clears throat> revised standard version. Comparing that to the NIV, we want John 15, chapter 11. Now listen to how similar they they might be but just a little bit more different, just a little different. The NIV version says, I have told you this so that, so that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be. You see how that was a little different? Let me know in the comments below if you noticed just a slight difference. I really wanted to come on and share that with you. Um, when I did that video last night, you guys seemed to like it. So I was, and plus I got to read a little bit of a devotional and I got to um, share with you a little bit of God's word. So tell me what you guys think. Don't forget to like, subscribe, like, subscribe, comment, and share, and click the notification on. Click the notification bell so you don't miss any videos from us. Um, yeah, I would love for you to be a part of Kelly's Little Ones Nursery and more. And I'm sorry about my first three videos today about how I've had to go in four different times, four different times and turn the comments back on those other three videos because I don't know if it's YouTube doing it. I know I'm not doing it. I have to go in and fix them. I've had to go in and fix them four different times. And you know what? It's starting to get on my nerves. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the verse comparison and the little devotional I read to you tonight. Uh, it this is Wednesday, right? Yeah. Wednesday, January 24th, 2024. Have a wonderful rest of your night. Um, as always, I love to share God's word with you. And thank you so much for watching again. I hope to you guys can be a part of Kelly's Little Ones Nursery and more. Remember, be your best you, and be blessed and be a blessing. Bye, friends.